Well, it is time to start your work week off with some good eats. And if you've been searching for a farm to table option that will make you feel like your grandma's in the kitchen, Big Dave Eats has the perfect option. And here he is in studio joining us again. Thanks so much for stopping by. Absolutely. Where, where else is there to be? Midday. Uh, midday is midday the place to be. That's it. Every That's it. day. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Where are we going this week? We're going to Fork and Plow. And I'm, I'm going to tell you, as you mentioned before, this is the closest that you can get. You think Southern Comforts food all the way across the board. You think your grandmother with this dish that I'm going to show you? Yeah, it's, it's yeah. going to be some good stuff. Yeah, Fork so. and Plow is located in Greenville. It's mm -hmm. on East North Street. We've mapped it out there for you on your screen. So tell me a little bit more about this menu because it changes yes. daily. Mm -hmm. They change daily, sometimes twice a day. Now, they do have staples. You know, it's like three or four items that, that's always on the menu. But for the most part, they change. It's, it's really like going to your grandmother's house. You know you're going to get some good food, but you don't know what you're getting. You yeah. know, yeah. yeah, but yeah, it's, it's one of those type of things. That they are they are absolutely phenomenal. Form the table, everything is fresh. So yeah, this is a good one. Yeah, let's take a look at what we're gonna try today with our menu. I know we're gonna start with a seasonal mule. Mm -hmm. Then we've got some elote deviled eggs, mm -hmm. which is a new kind of spin on deviled oh, yep, eggs. Yep, yep. Of course, we've got the chicken pot pie, which mm -hmm. you raved about, and we're ending dessert. Well, it's a martini. Yeah, my yeah. favorite kind of dessert. Mm -hmm. It's first first time I've ever had a um, a key lime, a slice of key lime pie yeah. with no fork or no spoon. It's All right. crazy. Yeah. I'm excited to hear about that. But first, we got to talk about how you can almost do some grocery shopping. Oh yeah, too. yes. They've got fresh produce. Oh yes. All that. Soon as you walk in, you can see like fr everything is locally sourced, and they have like your produce. You can walk back. You can get your fresh cuts of yeah. meat. You can also get pies that are you know they're pre-made, and then you just go pop them in the oven. So if you want to save time on cooking and want to get some good food, they pre-make everything. You just buy it and take it home, pop it in the oven, and there you go. A one-stop shop. There you All go. right, tell me about this seasonal mule. Okay, it's a peach, uh, of course, oh, you yeah. know, peaches are in season. Um, Oh my goodness, you know I love my mules, Aileen. This one yeah. here, this one, this was special. And you know, the simple syrup, put it over the top. You have, um, mm. they do an infused peach vodka, and then with the ginger, and then the simple syrup, and then, you know, your lime in there. So it's very, very good. And I saw it, you gave it the Big Davies Oh yeah, up. yeah, when you see that, you know it's good. You know it's good. <laughs> All right, talk to me about their take on deviled eggs. Okay, it's um, it was different. Now I love my deviled eggs, and I and I can be a stickler for deviled eggs. These were different. They're called the alote deviled eggs. Yeah. It had whole kernel corn in it, mm. um, which which was different. I highly recommend people trying it. But when you try it, go in with an open mind. That's gonna be a little different. Yeah, because it, it's it's gonna be different. It's not bad, but it's it's just different. So I think I would love this because yeah. I love deviled eggs, but I also love street corn. Oh yeah. I know yeah. you don't always love street corn. I love street corn as long as it's off the cob. I'm kind of funny mm. about this stuff in between mm -hmm. my teeth, so yeah, I know that's crazy. No, but. I definitely have to try that. All right, I think the top <laughs> compliments you gave were to this homemade pot pie. Tell me all about it. Oh my goodness, Haley. Goodness. Now, now I'm telling you something. You it needs a moment. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I got to get it together because this stuff. <laughs> oh my. Yeah. So think about this. If you love chicken pot pie. Yeah. All right. But think of it in a reverse way. Right, meaning you know the outside of the pot pie has the flaky crust, and then the, the mm -hmm. fillings are in the inside. Well, this one, the base is a biscuit. Now, the biscuit, if you take that biscuit and throw it up in the air, it'll sit there and float. I know it'll float for thirty seconds. That's how light it is. Nice. Oh my God, you you literally can taste the the process of them making it, just like rolling the dough, just kneading everything out, and then they take stewed chicken. Right, mm -hmm. and then they smother it over the top. Have a white gravy. You have your corn. You have your parsley. You have your your peas. That that is amazing. That is a great dish. So you're telling me this is like an inside out. Inside out, yeah, pot yeah, pie. pot pie. That's exactly. That's a genius idea. Oh yeah, and that it, looks so good. And I'm gonna too. tell you, you can't eat the whole thing. Mm -mm, you cannot do it. So just go when you order this. If they have it on the menu, get it, and just go on and tell them to bring out your box too, because you're gonna bring need it. Bring me my plate and the takeout box. There you go. Box. It Absolutely. sounds like a cheat code. Two for one, <laughs> there you, really. Exactly. We're oh, always yeah. about oh, yeah. saving money. I'm taking a meal home. That's great news. That's it. That's it. And you'll and the next day it even tastes better. It's one of those dishes. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Love so, to hear that. Yeah. All right, we gotta talk about dessert. Okay. Talking All right. about this martini. I'm not a dessert guy. Right. Which I is, prefer my dessert in liquid form, of, of course. Right, right, right. So um, this one, what they do, they take a, a whipped vodka, right? Erica with the C, she's the bartender. If you go there, ask for her. She does these specialty cocktails, and this is one of them. They take a whipped vodka, mm -hmm. and they use pineapple juice, lime juice, and a couple other ingredients. It's uncanny to me that how they can take ingredients and put it all together to make it taste just like a key lime pie. Yeah. They even go as far as taking the rim and they coat the rim with graham crackers. 
Oh, delicious. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. All right, this might be one of those times where I need to go and just try every single oh, yeah, thing you mentioned because yeah. it all sounds absolutely delicious. Oh, of yeah. course, thanks so much for stopping by. Absolutely, absolutely. And if you are interested in trying out Fork and Plow for yourself, they are located at 1629 East North Street in Greenville. Changing up that menu daily. Of course, they're open Monday through Saturday from 11 a.m. until 8 p.m. and also on Sunday from 10 a.m. until 1.30. And if you guys want to catch some of our past midday eats recommendations, you can always head on over to foxcarolina.com. And now.